Hey guys, so I'm in my hotel room here in Sikihor and before I start this video, I just wanted to give you an update on Alex's house build or community shelter build, you know, that we're doing since the uh, typhoon. So I'm gonna put up some video right now while I'm talking, uh, but basically it's going amazing. We're on budget and ahead of schedule somehow. Neither of those things are easy to do in Philippines, but it's been awesome. Uh, they did a really strong uh, foundation that I'll get to in another video when the house is actually done. Um, I'm not gonna get into too much technical details, but it's definitely the strongest little house in the barangay. And it'll be a place where people can go and hide during the next storms or flooding or anything. And it's not even gonna fall down with the earthquake. So this thing is gonna be awesome for the community and Alex as well. Alex's family can live in there all year round. Uh, so basically we got the foundation done, the walls, the rooms, even the floor is finished. And next they're starting on the ceiling, which will have steel trusses that are tied into the cement of the solid walls and have anchor hangers or whatever, uh, no, typhoon hangers uh, or typhoon anchors into the wall. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really strong. And then we'll get to the electric and the ceiling fans and stuff like that. Alex wanted this uh, design because people can put down mattresses and stuff, which we'll get him uh, if they have to stay there during the next emergency. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. That's a little bit of update. Like I said, it's been going so fast. They did all this in like two or three weeks that I couldn't film every day. So I'll just do a whole overview when the house is built, all right? Anyways, let's get to the questions and answers. Hey, what's going on guys? So I told you about last week that I was gonna do a Q&A video. So a lot of you guys sent me questions. Now I'm taking these from that post I did on Facebook. I'm taking them from different videos you guys asked me and I didn't answer there. And as well as my Instagram and Facebook. I just started using Facebook. People have been telling me to get on that. Uh, I'm just uploading the same videos and maybe some shorter clips as well from longer videos that I haven't posted. But yeah, if you guys want to follow me there more behind the scenes, check out my Instagram and Facebook. That's it's just Critter Hunter there and it should be easy to find. So yeah, you guys sent me some good questions. Uh, I'm going to try to answer most of them right now. So first one, these are not in any order, but hey, Critter Hunter, if you're an average swimmer, almost no experience snorkeling. How many hours of paddy to qualify for open water diving? Also, how long does it take until you're comfortable scuba diving? I guess that would depend on the person and how much they like the water. Love the videos. Well, thanks. Um, uh, man, I took my paddy. Look, everybody uses paddy as kind of an, uh, like the, the wrong way. Paddy is just an uh, organization to get you scuba certified. So. Don't say I'm doing my patty. Say you're you're taking a patty course because there's now a SSI anything. But anyways, I can't really remember my open water patty course, uh, how many hours it took, but it took about five days to be completely certified. And I was really comfortable in the water. So it could take longer. Uh, but I highly recommend if you're not even a good swimmer or like the water, take what they call a DSD. It's like... They'll take you in the pool. They'll show you how the gear works. It's kind of an intro without the whole four days and expensive certification. Uh, and then you'll find out real quick if you're even comfortable underwater. Especially with taking your mask off underwater and putting it back on and clearing it. That's the biggest hurdle most people have. Uh, but even if you have a hurdle or problems like that, there's no really bad students. It's just bad teachers. So a good instructor will get you through it. Um, but I, I would highly recommend it. It's a lot cheaper. It's it's just one day, like a couple hours or something. If you're comfortable in the pool, they'll take you in the ocean and drag you around like three or five meters or something like that. So you'll know pretty quick if you want to get certified. And then 
yeah, uh, during the first, uh, let's call it entry level course, it's called open water. You'll definitely have to learn how to swim, uh, but swimming is not hard. It's, it's, it's just, it's easy. And you'll have to do, I'm pretty sure, uh, some swim tests, like distances and stuff. But like I said, even if it takes you a week, two weeks, they'll get you through it. It's not, if you can uh, breathe underwater comfortably and clear your mask and whatnot, everything else is teachable. And your ears, if your ears are, you know, should be fine. When you get an invite to a place, is it sponsored or only partially? So I assume you mean like, well, right now we're here in Sikihor working with a dive resort. Um, last week we were in Porto Galera with another resort, Scandi Divers. Uh, they're always fully sponsored if I'm promoting a location or a business or something. Um, and some of them even pay. Uh, you know, it, it kind of all stopped. I had to cancel all trips before the pet or uh, at, during the pandemic, you know. But I used to work with a lot of tourism boards, dive resorts, um, tour operators, things like that. I used to go to Indonesia every year and with the Indonesia Tourism Board and you know, promote new locations besides Bali. Uh, you know, they, they bring in influencers and at the time I was a, a writer, a blogger, and I sold my website to start YouTube because video was my passion. So now I started up again, I got the audience, but the pandemic hit and we just now really being able to travel. So we're, we're hitting up some of these uh, locations. So even though this is sponsored, trip i'm also coming to these locations because i want to set up my own tours so i want to see if it's worth diving here and the infrastructure hotel stuff like that do you and judea have any plans to travel to the u.s anytime soon uh we talk about it a lot i want to more than she does uh but no not anytime definitely not in 2022 and i doubt it in 2023 because we have other plans Right now, I have to invest all my money and time in this channel, get it growing. Um, it's been a lazy two years, and we have other locations in mind like Indonesia, Solomon Islands, Borneo maybe, uh, Maldives maybe. Who knows? Uh, but not really, not really the U.S. We we do in the future want to buy or rent an RV and just do a huge u.s road trip that would be fun but not anytime soon uh but that would be fun and it's hard to get a visa for her even though we're married this one says will i go to tubataha reef and then somebody added with finn question mark yeah i'll obviously go to tubataha but probably not this year uh, I didn't get any sponsors or any I didn't even try to go this year because I didn't think it'd be open uh, We actually was supposed to go last year and We even helped sell out a boat and it got canceled. So I was scared to even you know Promote it or s try to sell seats on a boat that might get canceled So I made no plans for Tubataha this year because as you know, it's a uh, not an easy one to get to It's not like Dowin. I can just go every day um you gotta have liveaboards and stuff like that so definitely not this year but if things go right after i set up my tours this year uh i might set up my own group tour and i could bring you guys along to tubataha next year during the season like april may or something so it's definitely in the plans it's one of the it's probably the top any time you ask people the best dive site in philippines they say uh well Behind Tubataha, right? Everybody knows that's number one. Oh, and then it says with Finn. Uh, I don't know. We were working a lot more together, and then the typhoon happened, and everybody just kind of went. Uh, it's just it just went crazy. Everybody, we got I got sick, he got sick. I didn't see him for like three weeks, and then I went to Porto Galera. He went to Mindanao. Um, we just, 
he wasn't getting very many or as many views on his underwater videos so he started a new channel just for diving because that's his passion like mine um but he's not making many dive videos now i guess um right now he's in corona palawan so we're kind of doing our own thing right now uh it's hard to make plans with people that when you both travel a lot so i don't know our friend is buying a liveaboard and we want to go on it but we'll see who knows that photo you're trying to subliminal suggest your intentions to me <laughs> so this photo is a shrimp with eggs <laughs> no nobody is pregnant definitely not uh <laughs> nobody's laying eggs either all right this next question what are your future plans for the channel and travels uh, i kind of touched on this already but now that philippines we did our first trip to Porta galera first trip out of negros island i should say in like two or three years and it felt insane it was i couldn't believe it was my first time on an airplane like when i was a travel rider uh I was I, I added up my flights and it was like 180 per year um, which is like once a week or something and now it's been one flight in two or three years so it felt insane uh, and then of course a new location it felt amazing exploring new sites was amazing new new underwater critters it just it reminded us what travel why we love to travel so much so right now this year i think it's just philippines um my ultimate goal is i'm setting up three group tours in philippines that you guys can join me because you keep asking me can i come join you can i keep joining you um so i'm setting up a week in Porto galera a week in uh Dawin, and a week in probably sikihor I haven't made the the third trip finalized yet, but uh, when I get home from this Siki Horde trip, I'm gonna start getting all the details and we'll do those three back-to-back -back trips, just in case you guys wanna join all three or two or whatever. Um, but that'll be in November. So I'll be doing a lot of traveling around Philippines. I got my, my friend helping video underwater for me and we want to go to Romblon and a lot of cool spots in Philippines. And then in November, we'll be ready to uh, join you guys on our group group trips, group tours or whatever. Yeah, this is kind of the same question. Uh, we want to go to Davao. Uh, it's kind of shut down. I keep getting mixed messages down that way in southern... Uh, Mindanao, Davao area, saying nobody's operating, whatever, and uh, we think we found a boat that's probably like a private one that would, could take us diving. So we'd love to go diving in Damal, uh, Davao and like Saval Island and those, that little area around there. Um, I'd really like to go to Sarangani Bay. It's a giant bay that's nobody really, they've discovered species there. And I'd really love to uh, go explore there because there's no infrastructure, there's no anything going on. It's just amazing sites that nobody's mapped out. And then of course, number one on my list has always been uh, Romblon. Uh, there's some crazy species there that I see online that I'd really love to find for my first time. Uh, we might go to Antelao because Romblon and Antelao are so close together. I've been to Antelao a few times. That's why I chose Porto Galera instead. But I still love Antelao. Palawan. Uh, I'd love to go to like Kulian Island. Uh, I don't really want to just do shipwrecks. They're hard to film. You guys like them. But I want to do undiscovered sites like Kulian Island and really remote places. Kulian was a leper colony back in the day. <laughs> so that's a really, really cool place. And then Bo uh, there's Bohol. I really want to go to Balakasag and uh, Panglao area, Pamilikan Island, Kabilau, all that. Uh, there's so many spots I hope I could get to this year. And then of course our, our group tours in uh, November. So I guess that's pretty much all the questions. I mean, they're 
they're all kind of similar the direction of the channel it's kind of uh a lot more travel hopefully and a lot more just a different style with education uh where we talk about we do actual research about the species that we film and uh jonathan bird's blue world has been a huge inspiration that's why i started videos because uh, i wanted to do what he does not just writing about it anymore and i love his channel where he's it's it's more it's educational it's not just you know oh i found a critter so i want to steer away from the actual photography and talk about how i film something and more about marine biology and stuff because you guys leave comments on every video saying wow i've never seen this in my entire life i didn't know this existed i've been getting messages on instagram saying uh college students that just finished their bachelor degree um have decided to go on to marine biology and study that because of my channel or my instagram um so yeah it's 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 my passion i love it i found my videographer loves it more than i do probably um and yeah i of course if you haven't got my book i published a book about nudie brink and dowin i'd really love to make another one maybe uh cephalopods octopus maybe shrimp crabs or maybe another nudie brink one but a different location like uh indonesia i'd love to go to do group tours next year in indonesia to some of the places i've been and some some that i haven't been so there's so many options you guys i'll put uh my link down below if you want to get my book it's just going to be a taste we're going to do more cool stuff like that but first and foremost thank you guys so much for supporting my channel make sure to subscribe there's going to be a lot more coming because i'm editing our first uh oh i forgot to mention that uh i'm editing regular vlogs for seeky horror while we're here but we're making a documentary we didn't know if we could get enough footage in our 10 days 11 days here but we have so we're gonna make a documentary about seeky whore and the marine biodiversity so definitely make sure to subscribe anyways guys this video is getting a little long i will see you guys soon